morning and welcome to our daily encounter. This month, uh, God has been gracious to see us through last month till this time. We are talking about spiritual gift and today we are going to look about the limitation of spiritual gift. There is some limit to the extent at which we can be gifted with spiritual gift. Let's pray. We thank you, dear Lord, because you are ever faithful. You listen and hearken unto our prayers, dear Lord. How we pray that you will minister unto our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name we do trust and believe. Amen. Our scripture today comes from the book of 1 Corinthians 12, from verse 4. And it says, Therefore, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit, with the same Spirit, the different kinds of service, but in the same Lord. There are different kinds of work, but the same God with different kinds of workers. So we are being told that there are different types of gifts and even talents and work to the Church of Christ. But everybody is given individually and all for the glory of God. Many other time, most of the people strive to earn or get the gifts that are not within them. They feel that they deserve to earn the gifts, but the gifts of the Spirit cannot be earned that way. You must be blessed of the Lord. You must be given your own different unique gift. There are people who are multi-talented or multi-gifted, and there are those who are given certain gifts, but they want to exploit or think other people have better gifts than them. So they keep on striving to earn them. But these gifts are, as they are called gifts, they are given by the Lord, by the Spirit of the Lord. They are not earned. You can't work to have them. You can't learn to, die to have them. You can't pray and even expect to have them. But through the grace of God, we are each endowed with different gifts. Some have the gifts of interpreting the tongue, some with speaking with the tongue. Some have the gift of preaching the word of God, and some even the gift of healing. Some preachers who have been gifted, maybe with good preaching, they feel like they should earn the gift of healing also. And when they are not given that gift, they start faking miracles, because they feel within themselves the desire and they feel because they are good preachers who have done a lot of God's work, they should earn it. These gifts are given according to your ability to edify the body of Christ. They are all for the edification and glorification of God's name, not for our individual gain. And that is why many people have ended up doing things that may work as if they have earned the gift, but it's not within them. If we come to the book of Romans 12, from verse 4, I will read from verse 3. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought to, but rather think of yourself with the somber judgment in accordance with the measure of the faith God has given you. Just as each of us has been as one body with many members, and those members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we have many forms and one body, and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man, a man's gift is prophesying, let him use it in the pro proper manner of his faith. If it's to service, let him serve. If it is to teach, let him teach. If it is to encourage, let him encourage. Let him, if it is to contribute to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is to, for the leadership, let him govern diligently. If it's showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. So as we can see, people are given different gifts. There are those who are talented differently. There are those even who are given a generous heart 
to support others in ministry. Them not being ministers, but they are blessed with wealth so that they can support the ministers. But they feel they should earn this gift so that they can do the work of a minister. If you are not a teacher of the word, you should stick to the gift that the Lord gave you. Because we are one body in Christ and all of us are working for the glory of God. If somebody is more gifted than us or we admire the gifts he is given, all we can do is to support them but not sabotage them. Not to feel that we need also to earn the same kind of gift. We might be in the same ministry. We might be all teachers of the word. But my brother or my sister is more gifted in other ways. He can speak in tongues. They can even have more wisdom and knowledge, understanding of the word. All we can do is support them as we are one body in Christ. Just like our body have many hands, have two hands, two legs, two eyes. Every organ in our body has its function. We can't desire that we all have hands in our bodies. We won't have to see the way. We won't have to walk. We won't have the mouth to eat or not to breathe, the ear to hear. So as the body of Christ, we should use the gifts that we have been given for the edification of the church of Christ. And if we don't have a gift, we should support those who have because all we are all servants of the Most High God. And if we work together in unison, in working together with the gifts that we have been given, without trying to earn the ones that we don't have, then we are going to pull others down. But if we work together, we will edify the name of the Lord. And we, it's my prayer this morning that we are all going to use what the Lord has, been, has given unto each one of us for the glory and honor of his name. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.